hello Capricorn welcome this is um, your May 2019 reading um, this is a general reading so just really use your discernment um, when it comes to these readings some of these messages may apply, some may not. This reading may not be for you at all. Um, you know, so just always keep your situation in mind. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm getting a strong fire sign. Could be a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Um, Maybe a younger earth sign is involved. Again, doesn't have to be. Um, it's just the energies. Somebody here could be you trying to um, balance out a situation. Um, some sort of situation has come to an end with the Ten of Swords here. Um, then you have Temperance sandwiched in between the Seven of Wands. In this deck, um, this diver has landed himself into some hot water. Um, I know that the Seven of Wands can be, uh, like fighting for what you believe in. Um, yeah, but I feel like you could be trying to help balance out, um, a sticky situation. Um, you could be trying to balance, because the Ten of Swords is also mental energy, so maybe you're also trying to balance out a lot of mental energy. You could be, or someone you know could be, maybe facing a lot of people's anger here. Like maybe someone you know is caught up in a bad situation. Or maybe you found yourself caught up in some unexpected sticky situation. Maybe someone you were dealing with put you in a bad situation. Um, drop the card. We do have the Queen of Wands, so the Queen of Wands is, um, very much someone who's in their power, um, someone very confident, charismatic, attractive, someone passionate, um, could be someone, um, I believe Queen of Wands is also deals with the occult energy. Maybe this is someone very spiritual. A page of pentacles here. Um, you have death, so there's some sort of transformation, some sort of rebirth after some sort of loss, after some sort of cycle comes to a completion. Because the Ten of Swords, you know, number 10 in numerology is about um, a cycle coming to a close, coming to completion. Okay. 
Let's just get another card. Anything else for Capricorns? King of Swords, Page of Swords, so Air Energy, Emperor, um, Aries Energy, air sign that has a message or you're dealing with someone who may have fire and air in their charts or you do or you're dealing with two separate people so this is like a mature fire sign a mature fire energy a mature air sign a mature air energy you have two immature, you have two um, children here, earth sign child perhaps, air sign child perhaps, um, doesn't have to be children, you know, if there's no children in your life or involved in any situation, maybe for some people, maybe, maybe there are children involved in a situation, there very well could be a child who has earth and air placements or just has that energy about them or two children two adults here maybe someone here was involved with someone maybe they unexpectedly found themselves in a sticky situation because someone lied like maybe maybe someone had two children and another woman or a person on the side or you know vice versa maybe a woman lied about a man and two children at home that doesn't have to be for everyone watching maybe just a select few um so you're like wow okay you know let me let me end that. Let me let me stand in my power. Let me, you know, cut this off even though it's even though I'm caught in my head about this, even though even though I'm juggling, I'm still going to decide to you know, stand in my power. Pull on my masculine energy to end this situation this sticky situation balance myself out um, and decide to head towards the wheel decide to let the wheel turn in my favor head to my victory six of wands sorry I'm not filming them that well um, that's what I see Yeah. Or if they're single moms, you're like, you know, taking the kids, balancing myself, we're out. We kick this man to the curb, this woman to the curb, what have you, whatever the situation is. Um, Emperor, this is someone very much in their power. This is a very mature person. This is an authority figure, could be. Um, I feel like the Emperor is... Um, I feel like he can be fair. He can be just. He's about his business. He's very focused. Very much about his business. Very much in his power. Where are we at? Ten minutes? Um, 
Um, I'm feeling a love oracle card. So, I'm just going to pull religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So maybe there were spiritual or religious differences. Maybe this was just a very spiritual connection. Or some of you guys will be moving on to a relationship that's more spiritual. Because we did, you know, we did see the Six of Wands. So I do see you guys... Moving on, I do see you guys, you know, the wheel turning in your favor. I do see you guys having success, victory in something. Um, whatever this situation is, I don't blame you guys for moving away from it. I definitely feel like you guys should move away from it. Um... I'm just really not liking this Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Just this energy, what's depicted in the cards. Um, Right, Capricorn, you guys got support, family, your life purpose fully supports you, your, and family says loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. At the bottom of the deck, you have light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light, and love to this world. Yeah, this is definitely a family situation. There's kids involved. I feel like, too. There's a family that's being affected. Um, but you are being supported. Your family, you, your kids. You guys are being supported by the higher realms, your angels, your ancestors, your guides. I feel like they are communicating with you, that they are sending you signs. I feel like that's also why religious factors are here. I'm hearing praying. Page of Swords, someone could be spying, somebody could be researching. King of Swords, this is also, you know, someone who might be harsh or cold with their words. This is someone who also might be cold emotionally, maybe emotionally distant. Queen of Wands. I feel like the Queen of Wands really has no problem expressing herself emotionally. I mean, you know, this is, this is someone of a very passionate, fiery nature. So I wouldn't expect someone of that nature to have problems expressing themselves emotionally. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a very down-to-earth, a very creative, a very artistic child here. And then I feel like there's another child that's more brainy. Maybe one child's more in... In the books, one child's, you know, more cleanlier. One child's more likes to be outside and, like, in the dirt. Um, what else? What else for Capricorns?
21 shadow treasures the number three could be significant as well um guys could have been experiencing very dark emotions number eight divine connection so again i feel like you guys are connecting to your guides um you could have a very strong connection to God, to your angels, to your spirit guides. Um, and this relationship, whoever you connect it with, maybe you guys were together for 21 years, 8 years, 8 months, 21 months, you know. Um, maybe someone's children could be 8, could be 21, they could be 3. Um, yeah, but maybe, maybe you were very much involved with a very spiritual connection, with, with divine connection and religious factors here. You very much could have been dealing with a soulmate or just, you know, someone that you had a soul contract with, someone that you were just meant to cross paths with and have an experience with to help you evolve and grow um spiritually as a person and as a soul um you have number 29 nurture number 11 the number two could be significant um yeah just you know take time to love to nurture support yourself um you know, always choose self-love first. Always choose to nurture yourself and your children first. Uh, well, I mean, 